This episode is to highlight on two of the beautiful women that stuck out to us to this us week. week. So, Donica, you said you highlighted like, someone that uh, stuck out to you this yeah, week. Yeah, so. I very much appreciate Coretta Scott King. A lot of people don't really talk about her, but they only talk about her husband, even though she was right there with her husband, doing the same thing as he was doing. She traveled a lot of places to talk about you know, rape, racial and economic justice, women and children rights. She really talked about religious freedom and the poor and the homeless. You know, she really was an activist and a civil rights leader. She really don't get that much credit at all. But she's the most influential woman in my life. She was born in Alabama, just like us. Roll time. <laughs> <laughs> she had four kids. Even though she was a full-time mom, she still was very much by Martin Luther King's side. She got a degree in voice and violin. She went to school for music, but she became an activist. So I really appreciate her. I got a lot of facts that I could go down the line, but yeah. I just say what really, you know, stood out to me. So R.I.P. to Coretta Scott King. We appreciate her as well. She was You're definitely a beautiful yes. activist as very well. Much so. And she was married to the most powerful man. In the world, Martin yeah. Luther King, also rest in peace to him as well. Yeah. They leave behind, well, at the time they passed away, they left around four, the four children. But their Yolanda, oldest daughter, Yolanda, Yolanda King, King she passed, passed away, away. a yeah. year after her. So rest in peace to those amazing people yeah. that left an impact sure. on my life. And shine a light on us a little bit more mm -hmm. because it is Black History Month. Yes. And till next time, y'all have a good day. Thank you. Bye.